currently not in the running for playoffs, taking on the Copenhagen. Sean for the time to meet. Gonna spot this little invade. Ward secured by Forgiven. Keep his CS numbers looking healthy. Oh, we're in for a level one Crepo. And they're going in. Kabushev down. Up and down. Shook with the first blood. Gambit. I feel the Wolves have already made a crucial mistake that they're now trying to fix. But due to the nature of their composition, it's going to be hard. They don't have the, the comeback mechanic here. They, they need an on the hunt gets popped. Cabo goes in. Chum the waters connects. Lenny gets slowed. Boomerang's out. He's going to go in for the attack before we see Shook jumping in and dashing out. Kind of becomes a snooze fest sometimes in the mid game because neither side will get far enough behind to not be able to clear these minions. And then superior rotations will be needed or flanks. So Shook connects with the Sonic Wave. He's looking for Betsy. Kicks Betsy backwards. But Betsy puts the hammer down onto Kars before we see Freeze Force to Velk away and Forgiven. Sniped with the boomerang. Turns his attention to Shook. And Shook gets dropped as well. Wolves start the fight, but Gambit end it. Kabashard's gonna freeze Corky and Sora's the next to at least pick up a kill. Three for one. So Dragon number one picked up here for Gambit. Uncontested from the Wolves. Gambit significantly stronger with that 5k gold lead. And we have oh, on the hunt, hunt for Given. And the rest of Gambit looking for somebody. Cars is going to get chomped by the Chum the Waters. And we do see Chain of Corruption spreading across Gambit. Cabashot found Soren and Freeze. Held on to the explosive cast. Diamond Prox is going to drop the barrel down. And with that, they might set their sights on Baron. One of the big poke components is down from the Copenhagen Wolves. Gambit with some easy kills. May try pick up an easy Baron. Watch goes to Pepper. He has to play ping pong with Shook right now. Shook's want to dash in with the Q, with the W. Goes to Pepper wants to reset with the ultimate. He's a little close to the wall. He's going to reset. Ping he kicks pong. Shook back out. There's a flash available for Shook. He may hop over the wall. This might be 50 50, but Betsy's jumped in. He's going to be throwing the hammer around and everybody's peeled from Baron. Copenhagen Wolves have managed to stay alive and the kill gets secured with the Dragon's Rage. He joins his team in the middle. Look wow. at the damage. Monsoon being used here from Eddie. Gosu Pepper, rather. Chum the Waters connects and Kars. He's going to taste something fishy as the barrel comes down. Cabo takes him out. Gambit crack open the base with a kill, a tower, and an inhibitor. It's all been snowballing from that early game and the decision making from Gambit. Yeah, let's see how badly Gambit want to stop this dragon here. Very badly. Kars gets caught once more. He's going to get focused up by Cabochard. Diamond secures the dragon as Betsy will actually land the kill secure hit. Betsy One says it's zero. hammer time. Comes in, cleans up Shook. Caught between a it's rock Betsy. and a hard place. He finds Betsy with great damage. Lenny, however, is the cost. Tiamat picked up for Cabochard as well. Interesting. Why not? Go all in. That's what he's been doing every single time. Cabo left uncontested. Look at this, Nexus starts dropping. Copenhagen was forced to respond, and Cabo's gonna get this tower. Betsy is sitting down in that middle lane, pushing on the bottom rather than lane. He's forced to use the twisted advance. We do see a kill picked up for Forgiven, as the rest of Gambit focus <laughs> on the Nexus turrets. They set their sights on the Nexus, and Gambit absolutely destroy the Copenhagen Wolves. Kabashar quickly learns that your Guardian Angel doesn't pop when you get kicked into the fountain, so he, I see, ends up uh, dead, and Gambit playing for KDA right here. Some target practice for the next game tomorrow, but the Nexus goes down. Gambit, four wins! Between Rocket and SK Gaming starting. Pixel frame perfect almost, and he would have gotten the kill if it wasn't for that Annoying, annoying red buff expiring. Parallel convergence is gonna get connected. Spence Garen doesn't pop it, but Steve, after saving his teammates, gets taken out by Sven and Freddy for first blood. Waiting around the edge, they've got all summoners and ultimates available. Yeah, and they have good vision control right now, too. We haven't seen a rated group too much, so Fox connects. He, oh, Jankos is down. It's not over yet. Vanda's in trouble. Eat some auto attacks on that explosive charge, but that was just the bottom half teams in Europe. When, even, when they do run Siva, they often don't group effectively. Sven Skjern, again looking to invade. I distinctly remember two weeks ago talking about the jungle buffs that Sven Skjern and SK had stolen, and it looks like they're up to it again. That smites it away from Jankos as the dark oh, finding Sven? doesn't connect. Sven's looking for the shield. He chrono breaks backwards. He's going to get the parallel convergence onto one as Stand United continues to keep Sven Skjern alive. Jankos is jumping for the chain of corruption. Will hold Candy in place. A long range 
twist to the advance, will throw Steve into the back line. The eventual Maelstrom continues to prevent that damage, and Rockat get two for one. They want Fox next, and Sven Skerrin is still alive. It started with Sven, it ends with Sven in a two for three. Chaos, chaos everywhere. What a fight in the jungle. For Rockat, a bit of a misplay on either side. I don't think Candy Panda should have stuck around, and I don't think Wallace should have got ulti back, but here we go. Yeah. Team fight, parallel convergence stuns up two dragons down to 3,000, but Sven is chunked to half. There's no Candy Panda for a little while, down to 2,000 HP on the dragon. Teleports up, but top laners are fighting. Rocket, they've got their first dragon of the game, as Sven Skeren will go down to Yankos. And it all went haywire. This week, however, double pink ward. Lots of single target DPS and Rocket. They've got it. Hello. Crepo, I don't know how many times we talked about the threat of Baron. Rocket misreading the situation. The team fight breaks out. Yangos is knocked away. Chain of Corruption did connect. They've got one kill down, two kills down. SK are in the advantage. They've only lost the slithering snake. That is Fox's Casio. Mr. Rawls surrounded by three. He'll get one before getting taken out. As the time winder will not connect on Steve. Baron plus three kills at the cost of two. It'll become so hard right now for them to defend, though. Nuke Duck. Sven is in trouble. Nuke connects with that chain of corruption, but he's being focused down. Nuke Duck is out as Candy Panda is going to have the reset. Fox will be killed on Rocket's side as Mr. Rawls and Yankos are now split. This is getting messy. SK are all over the jungle. Sven Skeren is phase diving in. Chrono breaking out. Time windering forward and trying to find Mr. Rawls. Crucially, Mr. Rawls is still alive and putting down the auto attacks. And then you want magic damage on your top lane to fix that itemization gap, because double AD just doesn't work here in the late game for Rocket. And SK with the better scaling on uh, top. Yanko's looking for a pick. Skeren's a little bit in trouble. He's going to chrono bag back to the lane. Chain of Corruption does catch him out, and Steve roots him down. Steve shuts down Sven Skeren. Rocket want to find a pick. Remember, they have on the hunt. Here we go. So, on the hunt is thrown down. Nuke Duck flashes forward. Chain of Corruption catches Fox, but he has the stand united. Mr. Rawls, spell shield, the petrifying gaze, and Steve has teleported in. The Fox is down, and now Rocket only have one damage threat to deal with. Sven's got smite. Mr. Rawls and Rocket, they're dropping it. They're dropping it. They're looking for the steal. They're peeled away. Freddy has it. come in to pick up a kill. Baron seems to regenerating. They've traded support for top laner for SK to even it up with Rocket. Rocket are split. Baron will go down before Rocket can contest. We see Stand United being channeled onto Enrated. He's zoning them away with Soul Shackles. Steve is in the middle of everyone with his vengeful Maelstrom down. Where is Rawls and Nuke Duck? Candy Pender, he tops forward aggressively as Sven Skirin's on the back. There's no damage from Rocket coming down. Steve and Yankos focused before Nuke Duck and Rawls can join the fight. Finally, they connect and they will spread the chain of corruption, but it might be too little and too late. Two for one and Baron to SK. Right, losses are going to be the best of lessons. And SK, 4 1. They're going to get themselves on this inhibitor. Look at that satchel charge. Massive explosion. I like the use of Black Shield there. All through Stana. He goes low, though, however. Well, let's see. On the hunt has been used. Chain of Corruption goes wide, and the Petrifying Gaze doesn't connect. Fox goes golden, stays alive. His Sven is forced to Chrono Break alive. Steve? You see Steve. He's going to be able to get one onto Fox. We see Mr. Rolls dropping Candy Panda, and the inhibitor stands. Piercing Arrow comes out. Dredge Line connects. Root holds Freddy down. Double kill for Rolls. Three for zero. Rocket Greedy. The answer seems to be yes, they're on oh, to the next agreed? turrets. 20 seconds for life. There's minions now congelining in Vanda's taking a lot of damage. Sven Skeren's looking for Nuke Duck. The rest of Rockets seem to feel that. Seconds. Nuke Duck's in trouble. Yankos is tanking up that Death Star laser and Sven gets knocked away. He chrono breaks back in, but it's Enrated that gets the kill. Sven looking for more. Parallel Convergence will not connect and rolls. Spell Shield's the Dark Binding. So Rocket. Inhibitor, the turret, and Nexus turret at the cost of Yankos. They cannot challenge for Dragon, surely not. Yeah, look at Freddy comes in. They want to keep Rawls alive here. Oh, Rawls is not really under threat yet. Vanda, however, is. You can see Nuke Duck, he's peeled away. All of a sudden, Vanda's in trouble. Candy gets the reset. Vanda may be going down. I think he will. SK going to chase Mr. Rawls out. Freddy's zoning away. Going to throw down that Vorpal Blade. Shadow Dash, Shadow Dash, Shadow Black Dash. <laughs> Shadow Dash. Any time up. Oh, he's... Here we go. That was just cheap. Inhibitor secured. Now, is this game? 
Rocket looking to hang on. Itemization, of course. Essence Reba picked up by Nuketak on Varus. More lifesteal, more CDR. Reduces the engage. Explosive cast doesn't connect. There goes the depth charge. Svenskeren gets knocked out, but Freddy's in behind everybody. He's got five members of He's Rocket down. to fight. And that's what cost Rocket earlier. The tanks up front, the damage behind. We got a home guard. He's looking for a teleport. Might see an explosive fight right here. There was a ping on that tribush ward as well. On, on the, the hunt. hunt. Here's the teleport. Steve, Steve, Steve. Where can he find a target? Gonna try jump onto Fox. Not gonna find it. Fox has flashed away. We see a chrono break from Sven. This is a little messy from SK, but Messi's not too, too bad. We see petrifying gaze. Locks up the damage. Rocket continue to fire down. Freddy is out, but we see Sven taking down Steve. SK continuing to try to retreat. The chain of corruption catches in Rated and rolls and Nuketak are still alive. Candy Pepper kills him. Out. Triple Nuketak kill. Triple. Nuketak's gonna look for the Quadra. Can he get it? He does. Quadra kill for Nuketak. What a fight! And look at the death timers. Only one Nexus turret is remaining. This may be the victory for Rockat. If Nuketak can finish the game within the next minute, he will not set a new record for the longest game in summer split. Look at the player camps. Absolutely distraught on SK side. And look at how happy Yankos is. He's waiting to jump out of his seat. He tells him, no, no, okay, referee, I'm sitting down. What a game! For the fifth time this split, Rockat are victorious! Almost. Eventually. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs>Thank you very much, Quick Shot. Uh, yeah, well, in terms of that ruling during picks and bans, there was an uh, erroneous pick by Giants. When they notified the LCS officials, they should have been offered a remake. They were not and are entitled to a new pick and ban phase to make up for that error per league rules. And therefore, in the interest of competitive integrity and in the spirit of the rules, we'll be remaking the game with completely new picks and bans. And it was concerning the Nocturne and Gragas pick there at the beginning of pick and ban phase. We know how good Fnatic are at taking Baron at every stage of the game, but particularly good at the 20 to 30 minute mark, Barons. Team comps are on your screen. For the second time today, hashtag GIA win or hashtag FNC win. If you are just tuning in, just want to give you a quick update. During picks and bans, there was an erroneous pick by Giants. When they did notify the LCS officials, they should have been offered a remake. That didn't happen, and that means they are entitled to a new pick and ban phase to make up for the error in but the But you can just try and sit and farm. He's starting flask as well, so loads of sustain for himself. No, Godfrey, once again, looking to play aggressive. He's flashed in, got the pulverizer on the head. Stand United's coming in, reckless, has the flash Whoa. over the wall, and he finds Frederick, who he was thinking of teleporting, but instantly cancels. Giants off to another strong start. Uh. So we pick our eyes in this top lane. Willip's going to go for the dash onto Huni. Wild Growth comes out. The Prey Seeker doesn't connect, but the Glitter Lance does. Flash for flash. Willip continues to get chased out. Furious Bite comes out. Glitter Lance puts the slow. And Rainover gets Fnatic's first kill. It to happen on the bot lane, and look what Frederick is doing. He's sitting ready to see if Willip is going to use his ulti. Ultimate's available for Reckless and Yellow Star. The knockup comes out as well as the Stand United. Reckless trying to stay alive. Monsoon will knock most of the people away and the True Shot Barrage doesn't connect. Hoonies teleported to the tower and come up from behind. And now it's Frederick, the man that started it, that gets taken out. We see Audrey getting dropped by Hooney with the help of Yellow Star. And the Glitter Lines will keep the cow in place. He'll go for the headbutt, but it won't be enough as Fnatic get three kills and punish the tower dive. All of the damage though, so if that happens once more, it will be enough for a kill. Huni gonna get jumped on, but so is Adri. Gets caught up by Fate's call. The interrupt is not gonna happen from the Howling Gale. And Reckless and Yellowstar try to get one. Febivin's gonna get caught out, he's down. Empress Divide comes on. Fnatic with some uncharacteristic mistakes. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Fairly, <laughs> fairly simple statement, but uh, Godfred, Oh, he's going straight in. He's going to get the three-man knockup. Unbreakable Will comes out. Pippinero is not looking for the fight. He needs to jump back because Hooney's in trouble. Wild Goat comes up as he gets dash taunted. The Monsoon will keep him alive before the True Shot Barrage will pick up a kill. It's Fnatic, though. They're in a little bit of trouble. Now they're in a lot of trouble. Three members down. Rainover cannot find a reply back. 
four members of Fnatic are down, and Giants are looking for objectives. And despite Fnatic holding the gold lead, they now have to contest with Baron for a few more minutes. Yeah, and we still have to remember, they're not running with any hard engage on their side. So now, Giants going in again. Godfrey does catch Rain over. Wild Growth has already been used. We do see the Monsoon keeping him alive for a few seconds longer. Ren will not secure a kill. Reckless is life stealing, but look at the poke. Mystic shot and a big one. It's gonna hurt. Reckless is going low. He's gonna get caught out. Not gonna die just yet. True Shot Barrage has already been used. And then have that Shen ulti on them. And then you gotta try and get picks on Febivan. If you can in that mid lane to keep pushing in. Otherwise, go for on the side lanes. But now you're doing it, Audrey. Yeah. Fnatic do what Fnatic do best. The death push. They run TP Oriana or something and it just looks really <laughs> strange. But they are 5-5 five and five for a reason. They have been sitting as the fourth team in Europe for, for quite some time this season. Well, it, yeah, I mean, this is gonna hurt. Now you are overextending for no reason. Pop! Goes the weasel. Anything for himself. Keep in mind, again, he needs to smite these camps here in the jungle to regain mana, but for now, they're just gonna go in. Talisman of Ascension is available. Unbreakable comes up from Godfrey. Whirlip has arrived. He's not gonna be able to taunt, though. Reckless is staying alive. Pepinir is looking for one, but he can't find it. Whirlip has got so many stacks up. The Rend is not gonna get the kill, but Huni will get dropped. So far, Fnatic have lost one. They do have Giants retreating, but Fnatic cannot continue the chase. The lack of engage shows through. The blank is he getting value the short cooldown for himself so he can just keep dancing around. This is gonna be risky though. A fanatic, they're still around. Febron has everything ready for what is fine. All is available. Empress Divide could lock Giants in the pit between Fnatic and a Baron. Rainover, he's gonna tunnel in, will not get the Baron, but he will lock up two. Now Rainover's gonna lose his life. Shurima Shuffle locks Giants up against the wall and Reckless is looking to clean up. Can he kill all of Giants? Rend is available, landing the auto attacks. We see Huni get one, Reckless gets another. Reckless, life sustains through the rest. A flash over the wall as Huni gets the Clitalon's kill as Whirlip throws out the ball away. They trade four for three, but Giants get Baron number two. Yeah, two Barons for them. Whirlip should be able to just dash over the wall here and stay alive. Fnatic gets a lot of kills in this game here. Whirlip does have Stand United and Baron, so if you wanted to push a side lane, it would work out, but they're not going to get the chance. Fnatic forced to defensively use Monsoon and the Emperor's Divide. Rainover's dropped by Pepper Nero. He's looking to land Mystic Shot after Mystic Shot. A barrage from Audrey gets the second kill. Giants are on the verge of stopping Fnatic's win streak. They're now knocking on the inhibitor turrets, and there's no wave clear to speak of with Baron empowered minions. Giants may be doing the unthinkable. Every single time Fnatic is stuck under their tower, they cannot properly start the fight. Oh. Pepinero takes zero damage and he just destroys your entire team. At the same time, Giants on the Nexus turret. Well, can Huni defend? Nexus turret number one is down. The rest of Giants setting their sights onto number two. It looks like they want to back away. Febivin's been able to push himself in and Giants have cracked open the base. Reynov is looking for a fight, but he's too close. Now he needs to peel away. They're trying to chase further. Super minions will be coming in. Frederick's been knocked up. Frederick's been taken out with the help of Huni. True shot. Oh, Huni down. The snipe of Huni before he can wild growth himself. We do see Febivin with the shifting sand sliding forward. Fnatic have got one, but that is it. Now Look at Huni on the retreat. player cap. Huni is face down. Pepe Nero, look at the damage! He's got another one! 717 and he's flying away! Void Staff, Large Rod, Ludens and Rune Glaive. Means that Huni gets almost one shot by a true shot barrage. Azir Turret is protecting the inhibitor for a few seconds before it is taken down. And now Frederick is caught a little bit out of position. Reckless is going to hop through the gate. Ren is going to be enough to get the kill. And we see the Fates Call coming back in. Now Giants may have bitten off more than they can chew. Talisman of Ascension. I think it's still available. We'll check that in a Both moment. Both teams, you mentioned before, there's no like fifth dragon incoming, so that's where you're gonna have to fight around. It is a chance, like, poke comps really want the Baron, but at the same time, they don't wanna be caught inside the Baron because they need to be able to kite. We will get the fight though. Fnatic have started this one. Look at Pippin Nero. He's already used True Shot Barrage, but doesn't get a kill. Audrey is going low. The Ren's not gonna be enough to secure it. Monsoon is going to scrum. 
mess up the fight. Fevivin throws down Emperor's Divide. He manages to get free because I reset myself. Wurlim gonna dash towards away. Fnatic will not go quietly into the night. They will continue to fight and they will take Pepe Nero down. Rune Glaive means nothing. Fnatic turn to Baron. Three for one and they should get this. Giants never managed to group together here and start poking as a unit. Instead, they were split up. Reckless on Kalista. This guy has shown up whenever Fnatic needed him to carry. He's doing it again now for them. It doesn't matter that he's number 10. Of course, it's not about the damage for her. Reckless is in trouble. He's all alone for now. Yellow is nearby. Saved his life. Howling Gal keeps him alive. Oh, Godfrey miss. Being used. Godfrey does not connect this time round. Huni's coming with a teleport and Unbreakable Will will time out. Where is Febivit? Can he find someone? Reynov has knocked up Frederick and we can see Shen's late. Godfrey is down! Fnatic even up the kills. They are now onto the inhibitor turret as there are no more supers. And a Zia turret will stall this push. And Fnatic is saying, if you try and land any poke, we shield our AD carry and we send him forward. So he's the guy who's going to eat up all the poke because he has these shields here. It's a Jogger Kalista, Jogger Reckless come for Fnatic and he's the guy soaking up damage. Raynova, he really wants this dragon. It's going to be number five for them. Raynova's a little bit caught out. The rest of Fnatic the trying to come though. in. He was needed to kick out of the team. We do see Reckless is throwing down the auto attacks. Frederick's jump forward. He missed he's it. looking for Huni. We do see Emperor's Divide. Now, the space call. Going to throw up Frederick. That's a double kill for Reckless. He's unstoppable. He's looking for Audrey and Audrey is forced to run away. The dragon is now being focused. Aspect of the dragon is secured. Jen is oh, coming. He's going to get Stand United. Reckless is torn. Yeah, no damage. With the knockback, that's the third. Reckless is looking for fourth. A double double as he doubles down. Fnatic were out of the game, but now they're in the game. Aspect of the dragon and more objectives to knock down. And every single fight is just use everything you have on Reckless. Allow him to just jump forward. Pepinero, time to show what kind of superhero you are. Fnatic will be knocking down the Nexus. They've done it once, they've done it twice, they've done it 11 times in the summer split and remain undefeated. Unicorns of love and origin. We're gonna start by taking... Yeah, for me, this was a very enjoyable early game. Look at mid, though. Sadly, played like it should. And here we go. Flashing over mid, the amazing. They found power of evil. Shot blast, not connecting, but they don't need it. And just like that, three on one. And that's first blood to origin. Nice shock blast here, but it's late. all starting with the invade on blue buff. You steal it from Kikis, then you instantly make a play on the bot lane. Nice little... Uh, Jump here to interrupt the kick. Oh, kick flash. It's the kick back, and Kickis is slammed by Peke, picking up his second kill of the game. Obviously, kick is dying. Set them back a little bit, but this bot lane tower is dropping very low. So what's going in? Yes, he is. They found Visit Chachi. One of the Squisher members will they got him. take some damage, too. With the tower's assist, they managed to pick it up. It is Mithy who gets the kill. Time and time again for Unicorns in the summer split. It's the small individual mistakes that ends up hurting them. It's not done yet in the bottom lane, though. No, it is not. Nice hit button. Knocks up Hill, saying Soaz takes a bat to his head. Oh, but it's great a ulti. 2v3. I don't think they can win it. Soaz is down thanks to the combo of Unicorns. Meanwhile, Niels, though, looks to finish off a tower up top. Origin realizing they're not going to be able to defend this bottom tower forever, so going to try and trade it instead and keep this three or two towers for two and just keep it even. Power Weaver, though, is taking a lot of damage. Shock Blast knocks into the hammer, heals. Peke still on him, chains of corruption, lands. He's going to cleanse it and walk away just barely. In comes Amazing, though, to mop that one up. What a janitor. Origin is now 3,000 gold ahead, and we we talked about this. He was just left on his own. Power Weaver mistimed his roam, then he got caught out, couldn't go back again. Origin, they keep wave thing. That's a nice engage. They found Peke this time. Teleport's coming in. He's gonna actually flash away. Didn't have cleanse up right and available. A pair of teleports now as Chachi comes in. Origin still running away. Peke still landing the shock blast. This might be one of the longest sieges I've seen. And still they're unable to take the tower, but they got so as. Down he goes, courtesy of Vardax. Staring him down, Origin. Still maintaining this gold lead with Vayne and Alistair trying to push in. Hillisang, Vardax, and Power of Evil are there to respond. Chains of Corruption. Niels, 1v1 might be good, but Chai taking a 1v3. Flash, anyone? Hello. Yeah, you should have seen that one coming. One of the most telegraphed Varus LTs. You don't have to worry about your side lanes. You can finally group 
and start poking. Let's see where Peg will focus his shock bars if he goes the for the minions. You won't try and hit the tanks here. Flank is set up. There's no ward from Unicorns down here. They're going in from Origin. So or a ball race. Messi gets a massive knock up. They knock Hilly into tower. It's still tanking the line as he takes down Soaz. You can't take a 5v4, and Origin finds that out. Losing Soaz, losing Mithy. Infinity Edge scales better. Another Baron attempt by Origin. We've seen this before. When will they peel? The rest of Unicorns like have it. arrived. The Flash, Hillisang throws down the Fissure. Mithy might be caught, but he's the biggest member on Origin. Now everyone dancing around. Soaz looking to chase down Vardex. Shaki coming in. Soaz is caught. Soaz is down. Vardex picks him up. Kick is in the middle. Running wild. Kicked back. Hilly takes some damage. But now Mithy's forced to flash away. Niels tumbles backwards as he had to. Now Unicorns can say, if you go and start this dragon, with like more than one member, we will just start the Baron instantly. But what your Origin can do is have one guy start it. But now they may they're going in. To. Amazing! He's gonna get caught, taken down. Neil's had a bite out of him as well. He fooled me twice. Shame on Unicorns. This time they will start the Baron in earnest. However, half of its health. Origin coming in. Can they stop this one? Shock Blast is huge. In comes Soaz. Can he finish the job? Neil's trying to kite around, move around. Mithy, Hillisang's gone down. Neil's is the one who picks him up. And all sorts of craziness as Kikis goes down, so as dives back in this time. However, Ooh. he's gonna have to flash away from the piercing arrow. Very, very close fight around this band. It's always one of the problems for these poke comps. If they're stuck in there, Origin managed to stop it, at least from going down. Fool me once, shame on you, Pyro. Well, Twice, not, shame on me. Let's see what Chachi can get done. Pack Pack eight eight times. Times. Oh, he goes into the sky, it's not enough. Taken down in the 1v2, and now it's dragon time for Amazing. For them. This is why I don't like skirmish comps in the late game once they fall behind. Managed to get the tiers stacked up, and Ooh. now Origin getting jumped on, getting knocked around. The double kill over to Chachi. The carry is a back. Numbers on it. Origin have to move fast if they want to keep. The dragon control, they run in with Mithy. Dragon's nearly down, but it looks like they turned their attention over to Chachi and Hilla saying, Hilly's gonna drop! Dragon might be on, but Origin are looking straight for these unicorns right now. Can they get any more? Kikus is low, but not going down. Mithy gets taken out by Vardax. Shock Blasts are flying, but no more unicorns will fall today. Able to block it off. So Baron. STP. It's going low. In comes Amazing. Can't quite secure it. Now the fight is on. But the Baron of Unicorns look to try and push them back. Change Niels the way. Flying down. Down goes Niels. Now Amazing. He's going to fall. Perma stunned, it looks like. As Power of Evil finds him. A Baron and two kills for the Unicorns. And I think they had a lot of preparation to think about how to deal with Origin and how to fluster and frustrate them. And now Amazing, he might be caught. He gets the kick back on Hilly. Kickus is still on him. Bardag's looking for him. Chains are going to land. Mithy, he's a little bit low being poked out, but he runs straight into Power of Evil. Head up Pulverize, and Power's down. We spoke too soon. Shut down, courtesy of Niels. Right back in the base. He's going to be careful. Are down on the bottom. Let's call it a hurt. Let's go with that. Mithy's going in. Got the knock up, but he's going to be Rune Prison. Going to be chained up. Now he unchains himself, courtesy of Unbreakable Will. Hillisang's looking to go in. Vardags, he's going forward, but they forgot about Neil's power. We'll get the kill off. However, will it be enough? Unicorn's getting a little bit cold feet here. Now they'll be backing right back in. One last inhibitor to try and keep the base pushing, but Origin holding the line. It's so hard, because Origin have to engage in two phases as Soaz gets caught. Speaking of phases, Soaz is in some trouble. He throws down his ultimate onto Chachi. Won't be enough. Power's going to pick him up. Kick is not quite down. Hillisang kicked back. They're not done. The Unicorns tag teaming their way in. The last inhibitor's down. The Nexus turrets are in sight. We're almost 50 minutes in. Can Peke and the rest of Origin hold them off? It doesn't look like it. The last Nexus turret, it's going down. The Nexus is bare, and the Power Ponies in pink will finish off Origin. And honestly, for me, Hilosang was the MVP almost of this game. UK set up for our last match of the day. So you cannot send three guys up to defend it. Elements are going to arrive very late. This means H2K can now start zoning them off the tower. And that goes straight for him. They can indeed. Elder one they nearly goes down, but he is able to stay alive. Dexter will pick up Lulex. Yarnin will pick up Nif. It is a one-for-one one trade. Really messy start to this one. Get a one-on-one -on -one lane. Taps was freezing it because Elements wanted to defend the top lane and we'll at least get some farm. 
Dexter's gonna reveal himself with the parallel convergence. Yarnin though is caught between both him and Jay Wow. He's gonna go low, gonna go down. It's Jay Wow that picks him up. With that rampage slicing through him. No help from Lulix yet. He's just giving away the blue buff to Ryu. Yeah. There's a ward though to spot Dexter. He's constantly outside. looking. Like the thing is also for H2K here. There's only one way you can gank, Nip oh. might go down. Well, he goes in very early, flashes away, Parallel Convergence comes in, but Nip, the heal is on him, but he's still gonna get taken down as Kasing gets the last auto. Heal up for Yarnin, who got excited thanks to the assist. Kasing now being focused by Dexter. Timewinder goes in with a phase dive. Does he have the damage? No, he doesn't. Has to rewind himself back as Lulek shows up. Whoa, Dexter but... now taken down as he was knocked into Kasing. A double for the support of H2K. Just destroyed. give up this tower here to Elements. Didn't really gain anything. Bot lane as well is going to be pushing. Odo Amna obviously wants to go down. He has that frozen metal now. So JY won't be able to do all of it. Might be a fight again. It's on to Nif. They are on to Nif indeed. But will they be able to polish him off? Lulex Yarnin sends the Super Mega Death Rocket into the Nautilus to take him down. Dexter now has to flash the wall. In terms of auto attacking, more physical damage for him as well. Nif has been eating these hooks. Will also eat a little more harass and some more damage. Lulix will knock him against the wall. He's gonna have to flash dredge line, but the barrel takes him down. Roll it out for Lulex. And this is still a problem Ooh. for Elements. JWoww is forced to sit and clear waves while Odo Amne is the guy pushing down, controlling that. So he can TP first, because obviously JWoww wants to go back to base, wants to have home guards ready. He can't do that as long as Nar sitting there pushing him down to tower. And then Nif is getting caught out. Here's the TP coming though, it's a 4v5. Dragon is down, however. JWoww, can he target anyone out? He's denied the flays there. He's gonna go Onslaught of Shadows on the Yarnin, but he's taken down before he can do anything else. Ryu will get the kill for that one. Odo, Big Gnar, Froggen into tabs and... Oh boy, Lulax, he's so close to going down and he will. But that is the price for a Dragon, one for one. That's gonna be the objective for Elements, but it's gonna be so much about H2K just having proper vision control on the flanks. And then, when you see that TP coming, you just spam something on it. Kasing now. I don't think Kasing saw that coming. Ganged up on by Elements members all of a sudden. Again, we got this ward here placed near that blue buff of Elements, so they have the potential. Hecarim is already in base. Odana is coming in. Megana is already there. He is gonna run out there. soon. H2K are close to finishing this one off, but Nif wants to start the fight. They target out Odawanwe, who's gonna gnar them away. Meanwhile, the Hecarim in the backside is going to try and come in, but he's not got enough backup. The Dragon has already gone down. Nif still taking the front line. Super Mega Death Rocket gonna deal even more damage to him, but the Shockwave will come in, but Froggen will pick up Ryu before it can even come down. And Elements grab one nearly two with Hodawamne. Out. John and he removes so much damage that that's what he did. H2K never got to team fight him. Lulex take a lot of damage. Oh, and he's got a heal himself up, or get healed up rather, now while well, the rest of Elements are continuing to fire down this Baron. There's no answer for H2K just yet, except for Odawamne, who's trying to get in the back. is gonna take down Nif. This is getting dangerous. Jay Wow's going down. Yarnin, he's getting excited in the back. The Baron's going down. It's secured by Froggen. However, he may not live to be able to use it with Odo still chunking him out. Lantern's there. He will take it. But they've caught Froggen. Will they go back in? Yarnin running away. Sends a zap. Not gonna connect. Two members down for the Baron trade. It's just been all these trades, all these moves around these objectives, and they're still running, looking for tabs. He's going to Valkyrie away. Is he ready? Just in a few seconds. Waiting for the Super Mega Death Rocket. If Yarnin can get it, timed right. Odawamne looking for Dexter. Meanwhile, Yarnin will find tabs, and Odawamne will find Dexter. Froggen, can he be the sole survivor with this Baron? I don't think so, as he runs straight into the members of H2K, is able to dodge away from a lot of damage, but still, Surrounding him, H2K take him down and prove their team fight is superior. Looking quite good this split all around. Look at the ward behind though, Elements really wants to TP in with JWoww. Yannan has QSS unit. though. It's the TP coming on the pick ward. They've got to shut him down. He's pulled in, there's the teleport, in comes the Hecarim, they've caught Dexter, maybe they'll distract him for long enough. JWoww looks for Ryu this time, doesn't have enough damage. Lulex going a little bit low, but JWoww's going even lower. Inhibitor respawns, but that isn't going to matter as elements are starting to drop. Froggen has to pull away from the shockwave. The rocket comes in, and a triple kill for Yarnin. H2K, clean house, only tabs remaining. I think inhibitors might be going right back down to Fischio. And the coordination simply isn't there for Elements when they go for the engages. They're always missing something. So they cannot lock down Yarnin. He had Summoners, he had QSS, H2K, protect the AD carry. It still works. Absolutely does. When that AD carry is Yarnin, and that team is H2K. They're firing down the last of the Nexus turrets. Death timers way too long. H2K are back in business.